Hello everybody, this is my Year 12 Math Methods. What I decided I'd do today is pick one out of the book and have a go at it so that I can sort of demonstrate it for you. And I thought the one I'd pick is 3G question 5. Now 3G question 5 says we have y equals x to the 4 and we've got to put it through four um, dilations, reflections and transformations. Now the first um, thing we've got to do is reflect it in the y-axis, that's number 1. Dilate it by a factor of 2 from the y-axis translate 2 in the negative x direction and translate 1 in the negative y direction. Now this is from page 128 of the book. So if you want to look up and follow online, that's fine. Okay. So let's see. If we start out with a point, any point on this graph, y equals x to the 4, and we reflect in the y axis, that would mean that x would have to be the opposite of what it was. So that's the reflection, R for reflection. So the x value goes from being positive to negative or negative to positive. Now the next thing we had to do was dilate by a factor of 2 from the y-axis which means the x value will be twice as big so that'll be two lots of x values like that and then we've got to translate um, 2 in the negative x direction so negative 2 x direction that would mean minus 2x and would take away another 2 from the x value then the last one would have to do translate 1 in the negative y direction so that would be negative 1 y direction so that would be minus 2x minus 2 now for the y values we're going to take away another one alright so this would give us our X, new x and y values. So that would mean, and I'll use a new page, this would mean we'd have these two equations. So the new value of x, the new equation, was equal to minus 2x minus another 2. The new y value would be the old y value minus 1. Now if we put this all in terms of the old y value, we'd end up with x new plus 2 divided by negative 2 would be equal to old x and old y would be equal to new y plus 1. So if we said, right over, we'll, we'll substitute each of these things into y equals x to the 4, we'd end up with y plus 1, x plus 2, all over negative 2. Now let's see. Um, what I'll do is I'll say that'll be x plus 2 to the 4 and negative 2 cubed is 16 and then I'll take this one across to the other side so I'll end up with y dashed is equal to x plus 2 to the 4 all over 16 minus 1. Alrighty, now what I'll do just to do in a different method is to do it using matrices. Give me a second while I set it up on the next page. Now if I try to use the matrix method, what I'm going to get is the new XY values, that's the capital X dashed, and here's the new X value and the new Y value is equal to the, now what happens first, and I'll do that in a moment, times the old xy value, and that's x there, now plus. Now whereabouts is this graph moved? So this will be the reflection and the dilation, and this one will be whereabouts it's moved. So let's see. It had to go through a reflection in the y-axis, and then a dilation of the factor 2 from the y-axis. So it'll be minus 2, 0, 0, 1, and it had to be translated two units in the negative x direction, so I'll take away two from each of the x values and I'll take away one from the y values because it's being translated one unit in the negative y direction. Now, just for a second here, this negative means it's being reflected in the y-axis because the x value is, if it was positive, that negative will turn it into a positive and if it was negative, Another times by another negative will be a positive. Now the 2 will dilate it away from the y-axis. 
so that if I go to expand this and do the matrix multiplication that'll be minus 2x times by y plus now I'll just bring this down here minus 2 and minus 1 now if I put all these together minus 2x minus 2 and y minus 1 now let's see that could mean that we have minus 2x minus 2 and y minus 1. Now if you look at those equations those are the same as before so you could use those in just the same way we've done before put them both in terms of this one and this one, both in terms of old y and old x, and then substitute them back into y equals x to the 4. Now hopefully that's helped, and if you're still having problems, ask me in class and I'll see you then.